At the Regeneron Clinic beside Camping World Stadium in Orlando, a busy day stretched into the evening. They said the system had overbooked people. We talked with Heather Risch over the phone as she waited to see if the clinic would have enough shots to honor her appointment. You know, I've lost three friends to COVID-19. I know it's serious business. Eventually, she was able to receive the monoclonal antibodies about two hours after getting here and a day after her husband got the same treatment. Heather hasn't tested positive for the virus, but she was encouraged to get Regeneron because of her husband's confirmed case. He sounds awful. Um, he, and I can tell that he's miserable. And my husband and myself, we're both vaccinated. Heather is one of the few people showing up for a round of Regeneron shots without showing symptoms. I'm a teacher, I'm working in a school, so I'm doing everything I can to protect myself and, you know, my students. Florida's health department website says Regeneron is intended to be used in patients with mild to moderate symptoms to prevent hospitalization. But anyone over the age of 12 at high risk for severe illness is eligible if they've had a known exposure. The FDA's emergency use authorization for Regeneron was recently expanded as a post-exposure preventative treatment. The FDA stresses, though, monoclonal antibody treatments are not a substitute for getting vaccinated. In Orlando, Matt Lapoli, West 2 News. Several people at that site told West 2 about hours-long delays. We followed up about it with the state's emergency management office, which is running those Regeneron clinics. We are still waiting for a response. <laughs>